tend to use it uh, for mainly two reasons, but you can do it for um, other reasons too, is to uh, manually um, change um, the sound or the opacity, sound for the audio file and opacity for the video file. So let's imagine that we drag and drop this thing into the timeline. So first of all, again, make sure that you see that like you don't see the volume line here. If you want to see it, make sure that it is wide enough so that you can see it. And for video, if you don't see the opacity line, make sure that you make this also wide enough so that you can see the opacity line. If for some reason you don't see the opacity line, right click on the clip and then go all the way down and under show clip keyframes, make sure that this opacity has this uh, um, dots next to it, meaning that it is activated. Okay, so once you have this, um, let me zoom a little bit to see this better a little bit. And now we have one line as the volume. And if you go to the effect controls here on this window, you see that there is a part that is for audio and there is this level that is a zero dB. You can always change this by just clicking on that number and entering another number and look at this. When I put it 2 dB, this goes up a little bit. If I go 4 dB, it goes up even more. You can also manipulate the volume right here if you click on the line and drag it. Okay, and you see that the number here changes even if you drag it. The same way for the opacity, you see it under here, you see that there is a thing called opacity and you can change the percentage here as you see the uh, opacity of the image changes. And you can also similarly drag this to change the opacity of your image. Okay, but if you want to actually go up and down throughout the clip, um, this is how you do it. So, let me... what you do is that first you press P as pen and see that I have a pen tool now. And imagine that I say that's like, okay, for this part, I want to make her voice a little bit lower and then it goes up again so i'm going to make these four points so when you have this pen tool activated you just click on the line and then you get these dots and then if you click on these dots you can actually drag them you see that you can drag them so you can say you can even make this coming down a little bit slower by making the slope a little bit less. You can drag these lines however you want. You can change the level, you can change the position, anything that you want. And if you want to delete a point, you just right click on it and press delete and you see what happens. And again, I can do something like this. So you can manipulate your sound here um, a lot. This is especially useful when, for example, at some point there is a sudden loud noise that come up or suddenly there is a, a music that you want to make it a little bit lower under the dialogue, but you want to make it go up a little bit again after the dialogue. This way you have more control over your sound. Similarly, if you want to change opacity, you do the same thing here by clicking on them and see that's like I can even kind of make a customized fade out. Um, so if I play this, you see it kind of fades out by changing the opacity completely manually. So you, do, you are not limited to the uh, fade that is designed by Premiere. Same, you can even make a fade in if I do it like this, right? So you can even fade in with changing that opacity. So customizing um, this change in volume and opacity using pen tool is something that you can use um, a lot uh, for your own purposes and gives you more control. Okay, that's the pen tool.